hello friends i am pradeep kumar uh, in this video we will see the necessary of the fracture mechanics it means the capab the end of the capability of the solid mechanics here we will discuss the uh, necessary of the fracture mechanics using uh, some example look at this example here a, an, uh, uh, an infinite plate that you can see here it contains a elliptical hole and uh, it, it is subjected with a it is subjected with a nominal stress at these two uh, both ends and uh, here you can see here at the one end and other one these ends the stress in this plate uh, is let i want to get the stress at stress at a point a which is marked here so stress at a point a it means this is the point where the maximum stress will be created by this load because uh, you know that this is a discontinuous geometry so uh, there would be the maximum stress created at this point so this stress will be calculated by sigma a is equals to sigma nominal this is the sigma nominal stress multiplied by kt kt is actually it is a stress concentration factor kt is equals to 1 plus 2a by b 2a 2a is the major axis is the distance is the major axis distance and uh, 2b is the minor axis distance 2a we have that is this th this is uh, taken completely length and this is half of this minor axis this equation is actually given by the provided by the english and uh, this equation predicts the stress at a point a very well you can see here if we reduce the 2b tends to 0 if 2b tends to 0 then according to this equation the sigma a would become infinite you can put here if this b will tends to 0 then how this portion is 0 1 by 0 and this kt will become infinite if infinite is multiplied by anything then also this the product of this multiplication will become infinite according to the mathematics so sigma a tends to infinity by equation a so here what actually i want to uh, convey with you here uh, you can see here when the when the when the elliptical geometry has been converted into sharp crack when it will be converted when the 2b that when the 2b will will become when the distance between these two lines would be zero then this complete this complete elliptical hole become a sharp crack okay and the stress at a sharp crack according to the solid mechanics is infinite but in actual case in reality if any crack would be uh, provided in any geometry and applying very infinitesimal load there 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 is th there would not be going there is n there is no possibility to go the infinite stress by applying infinitesimal load but the solid mechanics predicts but the solid mechanics predicts infinite stress at point a so this is the this is the this is the point this is the this is the situation at which uh, at which the solid mechanics uh, at which solid mechanics cannot handle this situation is uh, this at this situation the solid mechanics is incapable of doing as such analysis so 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 uh, so how this situation could be handled so due to this limitation of the solid mechanics we uh, actually have to think on beyond the conventional way so the parad the, the paradox of a sharp crack motivated griffith to develop a fracture mechanics theory based on energy rather than local stress based this paradox actually uh, motivated uh, griffith to do something rather than local stress analysis so 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 griffith did an analysis and come up with uh, some 
equations and derived equation and, and said and uh, said that the local stress analysis based would not be applicable uh, uh, when the sharp crack has been initiated in any geometry and also the if if sharp crack has been initiated in any geometry the mechanics of solid or solid mechanics will give infinite stress which is actually not correct but which is not actually correct it means it uh, it really does not exist in the body okay so here solid mechanics predicts infinite stress at infinite uh, infinitesimal loading but however it does not exist at any cost infinite stress in any body before reaching this stress body will yield but applying any infinitesimal load the stress cannot go up to the infinite uh, stress at any real body and any real case so how so the real case uh, uh, will be handled by uh, by by fracture mechanics so fracture mechanics hand handles uh, a case a geometry which is having a sharp crack and such things cannot be handled by mechanics of solids so because mechanics of solids predicts the infinite stress at a crack tip however it does not exist in the real case so so this is the limitation of the this is the limitation of the fracture this is the limitation of the solid mechanics and necessary of the fracture mechanics so that many scientists have done on the did uh, uh, so many so many research work and publish so many papers and come up with the smart equations and small things so thank you uh, for watching this video a very small top very 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 small things and uh, but very uh, important which is which before learning to the fracture mechanics we should know why we are going to learn this fracture mechanics if already solid mechanics is existing in the in the uh, in the so many years yeah, so why we are uh, learning the new subjects fracture mechanics so actually this is the importance why we are learning the fracture mechanics so you know that a any new subject come up with a something uh, something to do which is not capable by the old uh, or conventional subjects so so this is the importance of the or necessary of the fracture mechanics that's uh, that uh, that uh, that is that is uh, motivated to researchers that is motivated to griffith to work on this field okay because this this field fracture mechanics is very important in case of nuclear industry oil and gas chemical industries because because these are the industries where the after working so many days the small cracks has been initiated in the geometry like uh, pressure vessels like pipelines like irradiated components so we need to we need to do analysis not to replace the component as such the small cracks has been initiated we have to do some analysis calculations to 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 know what is the critical crack length what is the critical uh, 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 things behind this uh, particular uh, loading situation so that uh, we can replace that that structure not by just uh, crack has been initiated and just replace it because it, it would be very costly for the reactor components or any other piping line components to just replace the components after detecting the small amount of crack we should have to analyze we should we have to analyze the 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 criticality of that component based on the fracture mechanics thank you for watching this video